That's a massive just show. arrived. He went for a hole there, boys, that was not there. Oh. Not for the spectators. This is frightening stuff. Alan McNish is still in the car. On first glance, guys, I don't think the gap was there. Let's take a look down through the Dunlop curves. He goes inside Bernard. That's for the lead of the race. It wasn't there. I mean, we're talking about it. It's really difficult to see out of that car, and it just... It's Aronson trying to get out of the way, but the leader is blocked. And there's contact, and that is blocked in And also involved in that was Postiglione's car, I fear, that's up the escape road. And straight away, I think the officials are going to have a look at that. And there was contact between Maron and Blomstedt and a red flag. The race is stopped. The race is stopped because it's taken barriers down. And there is obviously... Straight away. services around the country. An awful incident involving an Aussie race car and Brendan Tucker, check this out for a roll that gains momentum. Hey, Amit, can you count that? Actually, my, these blokes up here can't count for that sort of number. Nine and a half. That was a lot. This is extraordinary. Now the good news is that Brendan got out of the car all okay. I just kind of couldn't figure out which way north was, but uh, otherwise fine. That's amazing and testament to the strength of the cars. So it's all going to play out this weekend, folks, we are going to have a huge weekend. Of you can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go head into that fence. That is an, a horrible impact. Wow. All right, let's go on more from Elio Castroneves' point of view. You can see Mike was trying for some reason to go on the inside. Wow, he almost collected Anna Beatrice. Now from Ryan Hunter Ray's car. So you can see that he got hit on the inside and up over the top, and you can see Ryan Hunter Ray moving his hands, and he looks up in front of him, and he goes, my gosh, I can't believe that. Oh, wow. Rain falling, you can see the rain. Oh, Very no, narrow, no, that no, was no. not gonna happen. No way, the retarders no, are high. No. And oh, they're still at it, they are still at it. Now these two boys are gonna calm it down. Boys, bro, oh my oh, God. God. That's not on, that's <laughs> lunacy, boys. Yeah, that, that's just crazy stuff, two guys. It's one thing to have a go and not get it right, but to carry on like that is lunacy and they should be slapped over the wrist. Let's have a look again. Stanaway makes yep. the move. The block's there. There's no room. No, but he, he, he moved weight. That was a that was a bad move there by, uh, by Pye, I'm afraid. But he shouldn't have that. moved over that far. Then there was more contact on the exit. This was yep, the run. He's blocking the line. Stanaway's having a go. Open wheeler. It launches I can't believe that thing wasn't damaged then. I mean, that was an amazing recovery by Stanaway to get through there. Well, he made it around the corner and then it kept going. And... Nick Perkett, we said just sit back and wait and watch. 
look at all this. That's one hit. He Burke can't use Burke can't use his brain here big time and uh he needs to absolutely hook it up now. This is gonna be so close. In he goes, Solberg into the joke lap, into the, the right hand, into the left hand, extra swings around the fossil, Solberg's run wide. It's gonna be a race to the line. Who's gonna take it? Two close to call. It's Solberg takes it! A hundredth of a second! Unbelievable! Solberg takes it one hundredth of a second! Here we go, look, this is it. So you can see Solberg just searching for traction, trying to get it to bite up. Extra, look how close that is. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Wow. If he'd mounted the transponder extra just a centimetre further forward, he might have got it done. That is incredible. By thousandths of a second, we think it is. Oh, incredible. <laughs> Check this out. All about to happen in front of him. So he splits the lotion. Oh. 